<laughs> speaking of things that maybe you do want to put away, but at least hold on to, you know who helps us in that category? Dr. Lori. We're yeah. kicking off our show today, checking in with the one and only antiques appraiser herself. How are you today, Lori? Happy Thanksgiving. Good. Happy Thanksgiving. Have you got all the vintage cookbooks out? I have all the cookbooks out. <laughs> nice. Well, where do we begin today? And you know what? Since this is Thanksgiving Eve, I think we should start birthday Eve. So the night yes, that's what birthday. I'm saying. I love every holiday should have a he uh, should have an Eve. I'm liking it. Birthday Eve. We're going <laughs> to celebrate the whole time. Okay, let's get started. Are you ready? Dumpster or no dumpster? Would you keep it? Would you dump it? Whoa. Oh. Uh, right now, those are a health hazard in my family with my one year old. I would put all of those things in the dumpster. They scare okay. me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three year olds, too. But I know marbles are collectibles, and really, you don't see a lot of them anymore, like in stores and stuff. So I'm assuming these are some uh, ones that are a little older, right, Dr. Lori? Those are vintage. So, dumpster or no dumpster, you have this whole group. Do you throw them all out? I don't know. I uh, I need more. Okay. What makes them? They look like marbles you could find today in the little. What's the the game with the little sticks and you drop the marbles in? Kerplunk. Kerplunk. Yeah. And there's know. Also Jack, you know, there's all different types of marble games. So there's the big shooters and then the smaller marbles. There's the Lutz swirls. There's all different types. And like, are there some that are more sure. valuable than others? Like, how do you know no. if? Dumpster or no dumpster? Look at the picture. Are you pick kipping it or not? Dumpster, you know dumpster. I, I'm going to keep it because I feel like, the, I think I've heard that like the tiger eye can have some value and stuff. So okay, I'm, there I'm, you I'm, go. Now the brain has been turned on. It takes I know, I know. All right. So those are a no dumpster and I'm going to show you why. Okay. See, I, mean, I know nothing about marbles. We haven't talked about this. I know. Marbles are hard. Yes, the tiger eye, the look swirl. You see this? I circled the one that you should be looking for. And that one in that first large picture on the upper right-hand corner, that marble alone is worth $100. What? Oh, my. I know. There's a small element inside. Looks like a little animal inside. Sometimes it's a lamb or a bear or something like that. Larger marbles, those shooters with that element inside, 100 bucks. So that's a no dumpster. Yeah. So what year? Of, of, be careful of the marbles. Early 1900s to about 1935, prior to World War II, those marbles. Huh. Huh. There we go. Let's just get rid of the marbles. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Marbles. marbles. Choking Number hazards. Two. They scare me. All right. What is this? This is blackware pottery. This Ooh. is a piece of black on blackware pottery from the southwestern United States, Arizona, New Mexico, sometimes also called Pueblo pottery. It's about what three year? years old. Ooh, um, I'm going to keep it because I have a lot of black decor in my house, but I oh. don't know if we're crossing that $50 mark. Uh, what I'll year is this? Like, what year are we thinking? 1920, 1925. Yeah. It looks in good. What's the condition? It looks pretty good. Excellent condition. It's small, but excellent condition. Are there a lot of these, Lori? Well, there are some of them and some of different quality. This is a pretty good quality. Uh, a lot of the Pueblo potters made blackware starting in the early 1900s and continuing to today. I think it's I a cool. like it. I don't know. I'm going to say no dumpster. I'm keeping it. I, I, like I said, I'm keeping it for sure because it's black. I think it's right around the line of $50. I think it's right around 50 bucks. You like to sneak yeah. those in. That's my guess. That's a Maria Martinez piece of blackware pottery uh, made in the San Ildefonso Pueblo of New Mexico. Value on it is $1,500. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, I knew I hadn't seen black pottery, but I didn't think you were going to go a grand at us today. <laughs> what are you talking about? Big spender. We knew it was special. We just didn't Ooh. know how special. A little bit more than 50 bucks, right, Natalie? <laughs> Okay, let's go. Yeah. All right, last but not least. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. It's a Royal Dalton figurine in the manner of Royal Dalton. So it's not an actual Royal Dalton figurine, but it actually is um, like the Royal Dalton Top of the Hill figurines that were popular in the 1950s. You can see some of the smoke damage on it. That's that yellow nicotine haze that you'll see from folks who are very heavy smokers 
Because smoking. Oh, I thought her dress was, was just yellow. <laughs> no. No. Well, well, the dress is yellow, but it wouldn't be that sort of that sort of color uh, all the way around the white portions too, and even in the body too, uh, at the upper into the area of her um, shoulders are also somewhat yellow. So be aware of condition. And this particular piece is porcelain, and it's about uh, I would say six inches tall. So since you said it is not Royal Dalton and made me think already yeah. that it's a not this, I'm going to say dumpster because I know yeah, I'm saying really dumpster is very popular. Yeah. There's Honestly. smoke damage on it. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Value on that piece is just $35. Okay. So yes, it's a dumpster. You got it. See, you know. <laughs> yeah, I still want to make sure what I have, what I want. Like you said, I want that pottery thing. You said we got the answers, right? I want to get my hands on that. That was a dollar. Awesome. We're out of time. Dr. Lori, we're so thankful for you. We tell you all the time, but we mean it. Make sure to follow her on social media. Uh, yes. She's got all sorts of tips and fun like we have with you every week. I'm thankful for you, too. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Enjoy Tampa. And, of course, thanks for looking out for me at DrLoriV.com. Bye. All right. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Don't burn the turkey. <laughs>